Behavior change is very hard, and trying to incentivize people through reverse co-pays, making you know paying people to show up for a doctor's visit if it's the right kind of preventive visit. There are any number of ways that we could move people to doing the right thing for their own health. This is just one of many examples. I think the easiest things that we can do by simplifying the message, such as with the I Choose 600 campaign, it's easy. 600 calories, any meal, every meal. Keep it under that number, you'll remember, and you'll do the right thing. Eventually, would you see a time with, if the state actually manages to reduce its costs in Medicaid that they could try something like an incentive program? Oh, absolutely. I think it will probably be part of the current version of reform that we see where we try to incentivize people into preventive behaviors, whether it's getting the right vaccines, whether it's quitting smoking, whether it's cutting down and, and seeing someone about obesity. All of those kinds of behaviors could be incentivized even now. Did the, didn't the city try that though? Did New York City do this? They've tried different things uh, with varying success, and what we like to do is use them as a test bed to see what works and then right. try to generalize throughout the state. Well, because they have the highest population of Medicaid. They have the highest population of Medicaid. They also have other ways that they can do things on a smaller scale rather than rolling it out at a multi-million dollar level across the state.